In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to set your environment in MasterCam for programming a CNC lathe. So, to begin with, we're going to click on File. So, open MasterCam as I have here. Click on File. Changes your window down at the bottom, over the left. Click on Configuration. Now this window will pop up. Uh, read through here. We see it says Screen. Click on the plus right there. Uh, that will open down these subfolders. Click on Grid Settings. Grid Settings down on Size. Change that size to 1.0. And click OK. This window will pop up. Ask if you want to save these current settings. And say Yes, I do and as soon as that loads the window will close and your grid settings have been saved now we'll click on the view tab in the view tab and then over here on grid click to show grid and it, as you can see it is really quite small but you can roll the wheel on your mouse and it'll get bigger or smaller depending on which direction you move it so now that you've shown the grid click on the machine tab next to view come over here and lathe the drop down menu opens click on manage list we want to choose this generic Haas TL2X lathe MCAM LMD so highlight that click on add and say OK now you want to click on view again let's look at toolpaths we don't have one chosen yet so let's go to machine again click on the lathe drop down and click on now this generic Haas TL2X lathe has in the drop down menu click on that and there is your toolpaths pop up now click on the turning Oh, I, turning opens up. You see, there's your toolpath. Now, click on the View tab again, and click on Toolpaths to get it to go away. And then click on Planes, so that's the only one that open. Now, what you want to do is make sure that the D plus Z plus over here where it's select lathe plane click on the down arrow at the very top it says plus D plus Z click on that one and make sure plus D plus Z that the C for construction plane and T for tooling plane are highlighted in that screen so down here you'll see you were plus D plus and Z also down at the bottom here on the right it says the C plane the construction plane plus D plus Z it's the tooling plane the T plane plus Z plus Z and the WCS is marked as the top just like you have over here now highlight the tool paths manager again and down here at the bottom you'll notice you can you have these tabs you can toggle back and forth between the tool path and the planes. So now you have everything set in your environment. The next video in this series will be uh, actually creating the tool path in drafting. So for now, if you have any questions, see me in class.